Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's do the unboxing of the Samsung Z Flip, which is a new flexible foldable phone from Samsung. And if you guys recall, I've been actually using the Samsung Galaxy Fold uh, for almost three and a half to about four months. So let me actually open this up and I'll also uh, give references. What do I feel about this one, the new Fold from the old Fold? What's the feel and difference? So let's have a quick uh, look at this uh, Samsung Z Fold. So guys, as you can see here is uh, we have the box within a box and uh, guys, I just want to thank Faisal Communications. I got this from Faisal Communications because it's not yet launched in India. I'm hearing rumors that it might launch sometime in March, but I haven't got any information from Samsung India. So anyways, uh, let's open this up. And again, uh, this is a expensive device folds are expensive in us it's about 1380 dollars plus tax so the by the time it comes to india i'm expecting anywhere the price between 1 lakh 10 to about 1 lakh 20. anyways so this opens up and we have uh, one more box within a box say samsung galaxy z flip so let's open this up and we have another box in this i almost missed that difficult to take it out but let's take that out it's tightly packed here uh, so this comes out guys like this and uh, looks like the sim ejector tool and uh, we also have some accessories so look li uh, like a case and some quick start guide are there in this so you do get that case in this so that's nice it's hidden inside this box anyways if we move further uh, as you can see it says uh, the future changes shape meet your galaxy z flip gives uh, idea about it and uh, here again if you know even the galaxy fold first uh, one it had a lot of warnings on the screen uh, same thing over here not to poke it with your hand and uh, not to go near magnets and uh, water resistant uh, stuff don't get near water and all those things so here we have and we also get some premium service uh, with this one uh, and one year it says accidental uh, complimentary samsung care plus so uh, so I don't know if this will be available here in India, but this is what we have. And we are also getting a fast charger, it says. Uh, but guys, it's a 15 watt charger that you are getting in the box. And apart from that, we also get an adapter here. Looks like a USB adapter. Let me just take this out, tightly packed. Yes, uh, uh, Type-C uh, to a regular USB adapter. That's also you're getting in the box. This will be a USB Type-C cable and uh, looks like AKG headsets that you are getting and it's again USB type uh, C so that's what you get in the box so let me keep these things to the side so let's have a look at this one and let's uh, just open this open this up and uh, here we have the device itself we actually get it in the three different colors guys so this is unfolded and the first thing that i'm noticing is that for example i have the original fold and if you notice the original fold this is a plastic screen that we have so there's slight flex towards this works perfectly uh, been using it for four months but this one it's slightly harder it feels like glass it doesn't feel like that total plastic layer so that's something new that i'm noticing and um, obviously it will fold like this and all, all these foldables this hinge is the most important part and looks like samsung has really worked on this uh, hinge because if you compare with this one definitely the hinge on this new one is a lot more smoother to open and close so let me give you a physical overview on the top uh, actually we have a uh, secondary noise cancellation microphone and uh, over here we have the volume rockers uh, this will be the fingerprint uh, scanner uh, bottom will be the vent for the speaker main microphone type c port and looks like sim tray over here and guys it supports both a uh, uh, nano sim as well as eSIM. for example the moto razor only supports eSIM. so let me just get the sim uh, uh, ejector tool and let's have a look and here it is so it'll be obviously single sim but uh, let's open this up and have a look and yes a single nano sim and this comes in only one variant as far as i know uh, 8 gigabytes of ram and 256 gb of uh, storage so let's do one thing and uh, if you close this here you'll see these two cameras uh, both are uh, 12 megapixel one is regular one is ultra wide and we also have a small 1.1 inch screen over here i'll show you when we open this up and let's try to power it on and uh, this button 
is the power on off and the fingerprint uh, scanner just like the poco x2 i would say so let me do one thing by the time it actually boots up and i set it up let me give you a configuration overview this uh, galaxy z flip is having a 6.7 inch dynamic amoled flexible full hd plus uh, screen it's part with the snapdragon 855 plus comes with 8 gigabytes of ram 256 gb of storage it has uh, a dual main camera setup that's 12 megapixel and again 12 megapixel for ultra wide the front facing camera is a 10 megapixel it has a 3300 milliamp power battery with a 15 watt charge uh, charger it also supports wireless charging and samsung pay so guys i've just set it up and as you can see we have this mini display over here uh, it shows the time and stuff uh, and uh, this is how this it looks and here is the fingerprint scanner and this is the power on of button also guys and it is very very fast so don't have to worry i just set it up that's why you're seeing a lot of notifications and stuff like this and uh, i have to say uh, because i was using this uh, galaxy fold uh, it feels different it does not feel that flexible uh, what do you say plastic layer uh, this feels like a normal but yeah there is that crease obviously there will be that small crease uh, it's a foldable device but definitely if i compare it with this galaxy fold it feels like a huge improvement next generation device in terms of what samsung has done with the screen it feels like a normal screen and the hinge again i have to stress the big thing on all these foldables will be this hinge and this hinge is really really smooth on this one and let's unlock uh, this and i only feel uh, this screen what they have it's very very tiny this should have been bigger like what uh, razor does uh, uh, with the moto razor that's coming out it has a proper screen it is very very tiny i feel but anyways let's just open this up and fingerprint unlocks and uh, so this now when you open this up it becomes almost a 6.7 inch screen and uh, and if you know samsung samsung generally makes good screen let me just lower the brightness it's really really bright so that this uh, camera doesn't have a problem yeah as you can see over here and this has samsung pay and all those things so full-fledged it's not like a dumbed down version software information one ui version 2.1 it says and android version is 10 out of the box as expected and i believe this will uh, be having 256 uh, gb of uh, storage if you go to device care and if we uh, look at uh, storage yes uh, 256 and out of that as you can see 223 gigabytes is available to us so that's regarding the storage and uh, as I've told you again, uh, it has a proper SIM slot as well as eSIM, so both those functionality. And again, display, you go over here, you can adjust adaptive uh, uh, screen mode, right now it's on Vivid, so you can change all those things. And uh, definitely I would say, it looks a huge improvement in terms of the scre screen feel, I would say. This feels like, I don't know, this is not a Gorilla Glass or anything, but feels like glass, uh, whereas on this older fold, definitely it fe felt like that I was, moving my hand over a plastic flip so that's a big difference personally to me coming from this galaxy fold and uh, let's again fold it once yes this is very smooth and let's see if i unlock it directly from here what happens no i think so you have to open it and unlock it from here so that's what it is and uh, it's powered by the snapdragon 855 plus so again performance should not be a issue and uh, this comes with the 3300 milliamp hour battery uh, but again uh, if you notice the phone is a lot smaller than this galaxy regular fold if i open it this is way bigger almost double this screen this had a 4500 milliamp hour battery and this actually gave me very good battery life about one and a half days so i don't think so we should have a problem regarding battery but it just comes with a 15 watt fast charger i wish they gave a slightly bigger charger but that's what we get in the box fingerprint scanner is nice it's actually the power button and the fingerprint scanner uh in one that's the big improvement i would say from the uh, regular fold because with the regular fold the power button was here so i had to click this and then hit the fingerprint scanner so nice that they have integrated this one in a single uh, button for example even the poco x2 uh, does that and it's really fast so i'm liking the feel of it it feels nice uh, i would say if, if it officially comes to india and you are able to play go to a store and play around with the hinge the hinge they have really worked on it gives a good feel there is slight gap over here still it's not gapless but gives a nice feeling uh, about it definitely much better than the what do you say hinge mechanism on the first uh, 
fold and uh, now again uh, let's talk about the cameras uh, let me open up a screen i completely forgot to mention about the front facing camera it's that uh, infinity o display that uh, punch hole notch what uh, samsung has it's over here and it's a 10 megapixel that we have so let's do one thing uh, let's now also look at the camera on this one let's fire this up and uh, by default it goes to this one or the back camera and it's a 12 megapixel and we also have a wide angle as you can see like this so we have uh, those two modes and we also have optical zoom uh, sorry digital zoom 2x it says and uh, even 4x and 8x i would not go with the 4x or 8x guys because it's digital zoom anything above two you will not get those good results but this is what we have and uh, let's just go back to the normal mode and uh, if i go over here this is that front facing camera again has two modes and by default it will uh, have the beauty modes and all those things so remove that i would say and uh, let's just go back over here so let me take some sample shots with this one so that you have a better idea regarding the camera so these were taken with the rear facing camera and if you notice these are completely taken in artificial lighting conditions and i would say initial impressions considering that it was taken in completely artificial lighting conditions it did a good job this was taken in the normal mode and this was taken with a wide angle lens now moving the human subjects this again was taken in artificial lighting conditions and this was that wide angle lens and here i enabled the depth of portrait mode as you can see and with that also i got some uh, good uh, results this was taken in the normal mode now moving to the front facing camera I feel the front facing camera performance is also good as you can see with the samples. So guys that was the Samsung Z Flip so what do you guys think about this one and I would say my initial impressions I would say uh, this is the next generation of the Fold and definitely I would say it's better than the first generation of Fold that, uh, that we had and that actually had just a plastic sc screen inside this I don't know this feels like glass it does not feel that flick what do you say flimsy plastic screen that is very prone to damage or something so definitely a move in the right direction i would say i even played with the motorola razor and that also has the what do you say plastic screen just like the regular fold so definitely i would say this one feels a lot uh, better but again i don't know uh, when uh, will this launch in india it's being rumored that sometime in around march time frame it will launch uh, but definitely it's going to be a expensive device over a lakh i'm assuming but again uh, i would say these are new tech that is going on these foldables and they'll continue to grow and when i was using the fold uh, I, this is the one that i purchased earlier and i was using almost for now three and a half four months it's an attention grabber whenever i'm in a with people or some um, many people just ask about this what is the fold they want to play around with it so definitely i feel this will also be an attention grabber and in terms of looks and sleekness it looks very very sleek the only con i would say that i have is this is very tiny screen it should have been bigger but anyways uh, guys that is it for now for this unboxing and first look at this uh, uh, Samsung Z Flip. What do you guys think about the same? Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And if you guys are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranji, and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.